Yeah. Deepika, tell me about yourself. Yes, sir. This is Deepika. I am coming from Vaisa. I have completed my B.Tech at Miracle Educational Society Group of Institutions in Streaming of Computer Science and Engineering. Coming to my project, and my project title is Cyber Threat Analysis and Android Apps. In my project, to provide a security on your mobile devices, and uh, we are using a machine learning alg alg algorithms. And in machine learning algorithms, we train with the data. We have to train the data to provide. Um, we we check the behavior and structure. So, how much you rate yourself in JavaScript out of ten? JavaScript. So as of now, I'm learning. I'm process to learning in JavaScript. So I have to give nearly five to six. Okay, six to six. How about Java? Java is also I'm process to learning the Java, but. I, but I, I have a good knowledge on it, Java. I'm giving my best in Java. So I have to give nine. Okay, nine. Right. <coughs> Chalo, let's start with the Java only. Yeah. Because you are confident about it. Chalo. Tell me something about the access modifiers. Access modifiers are mainly divided into four. One is the private, another one is the default, another one is the public, one is the protected. Private is the keyword. We cannot give any classes. Why? Because if you give the classes, given in a compiled matter, illegal modifier we have to give. In private keyword, we can only use the inner classes, methods, variables, and in interfaces also we cannot give the private keyword. Private okay. keyword scope is within the class. We cannot access the outside of the class. So can't I write a private private method in interfaces? Private, yeah. So we can write the private method in interface. No, you are saying in interface we cannot use private. Yeah, in in, in interface we cannot give we cannot give the classes, but we can give the interface within the interface class. Fine, okay. Tell me, explain about the JDK, JRE, and JVM. JDK is provided to do development of the tool, and the JDK to fix the bugs, and the JVM coming to the JVM to loading and running the Java applications. In JVM, we have to divide it into three parts. One is the class loader and there one is the java runtime environment and there one is the executive engine in java runtime environment we have divided into five types one is the method area and there one is the heap area next one is the stack and there one is the pc register and next native engine okay right fine tell me something what is the difference between uh, abstracts and the interfaces in interface by default uh, by default methods in public and uh, abstract or coming to the abstraction we, we don't have any default methods we have abstract methods and non abstract methods in, in interface in, in in interface we have a variables we we are initialized suppose we are not initialized it will give an compiled error but coming to abstraction we are not in initializing or not initializing it depends on user and in coming to variables in interface tell me, is, tell me the difference between overloading and overriding overloading is same method name we can override can yeah, write. You can write the code, no problem. Method, same method, we can pass the parameters. Okay. Next, same method, we can, no, we, in this we have no parameters. Okay. We can write int a comma int b. Okay. Same method with different parameters is called as a method of overloading. Okay. Coming to method of overriding, same method name. We can extend the another class and mm -hmm. same method name we have to give, give. We cannot change change. Okay. Can you tell me the difference between array list and linked list? Yeah. Array list is the synchronized and means synchronized means to convert the object to the primitive data types. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Array list and linked list. Yeah. Array list is the synchronized and linked list is the non synchronized and array list is the single linked list and uh, array list is the single single linked list and uh, linked list is the double linked list. In array list is retrieving the data. In a linked list is the in initiation or adding we can use. It. Okay. Tell me what is callback in JavaScript? So as of now, I'm not aware. And I know the callback callback function is we call the function into the another function. Right. What is the purpose of uh, calling one function in another function? What is the purpose of calling one? You are calling the function in another function or you are passing the argument? Passing the argument to Function the, as an argument to? Passing the argument as a. Okay, right. what is the purpose of passing? Passing the purpose. Suppose we have to run the one method. Okay. In passing the another method, 
so, suppose it doesn't e execute this method is also a not execute i can't okay. 